First, we will configure the IPv6 address statically on R2's WAN interface that connects to the WAN interface for R1 based on our diagram. This means we will specify the routing prefix and the interface ID. Now, the routing prefix will be the same, which is 2001 colon 10 colon 12, but a unique interface ID will be used for each interface. So R1 would use 1 and R2 would use 2. So let's get started with that IPv6 configuration. From R2, let's go to our config mode. Next, let's enable IPv6 unicast routing. Now let's go under our LAN interface in R2, which is fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, and configure the V6 address, which is a static address based on our network diagram. So let's configure that now. So let's go under fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, and then define the V6 address. And the prefix is a slash 64. Let's exit out. And now let's configure the v6 address on the WAN interface, which is serial 0 slash 0. So it'll be IPv6 address of 2001 colon 10 colon 12 double colon 2 with the prefix of a slash 64. And let's do an exit. So now let's do the same thing on R1. Let's enable IPv6 unicast routing. Let's go under the WAN interface of serial 0 slash 0 and configure that v6 address, IPv6 address of 2001 colon 10 colon 12 double colon 1 with a prefix of a slash 64. And let's exit. Now let's confirm connectivity between these routers. So from R1, let's ping the R2 v6 address that was assigned to the WAN interface. So that will be ping IPv6 and then that IP address of 10 colon 12 colon double colon 2. And we have success. It's reachable. Let's do the same thing from R2 where we will ping the WAN IP for R1. And that will be 2001 colon 10 colon 12 double colon 1 and we have connectivity. So our configuration works and both ends can reach each other 